You should try it. Now, before we get to the review, I think it's only fair to let you guys know that I'm not what you would call very good at fighting games. You just lost. But as you can see, I get pretty pissed off in a hurry. You're not telling me the moves. Joe. You're not even letting me Joe, see Joe, the Joe, moves. Joe, 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 Joe. What? Listen. No. Alright, just admit it, Joe. No, 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 no. Don't you Joe, say it. It's, I mean, we don't. can't all no, be no, perfect please. at every game. Don't you Joe. say it. Okay. Don't. You suck. You suck. You suck. I cannot lose! See, I like to find a character that looks the coolest, and then own that character, and train, learn all of his moves, and beat everybody's ass with that single character. Whether he's the most badass looking, or whether he has the best name in the universe. I learn his every move, and I master the art of beating ass with him. So, are you gonna have fun beating ass? in King of Fighters 12. Well first, let's take a look at what's good about the game. Now, I had a bunch of friends over. We had Street Fighter, Blast Blue, Blah Blue, we had Blah Blue, Calamity Trigger, we had Garo, Mark of the Wolves, we had all the fighting games, and we had King of Fighters 12. And what was so odd is we kept going back to King of Fighters 12. We kept playing it over the other ones. Why? Because of one simple fact. The fighting system in that game is excellent. It's superb, it's top notch. Everything flows so well, and everything feels extremely responsive. That's the way a fighting game should be done. Not only that, but it was easiest for all of us to get and learn. It's one of those cliche things. It's easy to learn, tough to master, or whatever. Unfortunately, after everybody left, I didn't pick it up again. Why? Well, the answer is actually something that you would know if you own the game for only about five minutes. This kind of looks like the end of the game. This cannot be the end of the game. Holy shit, this is the end of the game. The thing that stands out most about it is the serious lack of content. You see, there's no story mode. And then the arcade mode that is there is a joke. It's five matches and then it's over. And there's no character introductions at all. I don't know who any of these people are. And that's another huge letdown. Now this is the first time there's been a retail game of King of Fighters on the 360. It, it seems logical to me that there's a whole new audience out there that has no idea who any of these people are. You know, like this guy, or this dude, or this trucker guy. And why is this guy dressed like this? Or how about the fact that this guy looks exactly like this guy? Seems kind of cheap to me. Maybe we would understand these things if there was some kind of story, but there's not, and that is really disappointing. And online, you'll find that a lot of people are complaining that they kind of eh, de-saxed the game, if you will. It's not sexy. There, there's, uh, it took out the boobies, okay? Okay, there's, there's no boobies flapping around everywhere here in this game, okay? They even took out a fan favorite, my. There's even a few people online that says, no my, no buy. Me, I don't really care. But what I do care about is a solid fighting experience. And this game does have that. But as of right now, the online has serious lag issues. So the only fun I had was when I had a bunch of people over and we were all playing the game. It's a shame because this game grabbed my attention. I started to get interested in the fighters. Like why do these people look like this, but then you have cool guys like this guy 
and this guy, I still don't know. Over the years, we've gone through massive rosters, or oodles of extra content, or recently branching storylines. But in this game, it's as if they took a step backward. And it feels like there's a huge chunk of my game missing. To sum it up, what it really feels like is an extremely polished Xbox Live Arcade game. <clears throat> now you guys know I'm honest with you, and this is really hard for me to rate, because the fighting is so good, but every other part of the game is seriously lacking content. So how do you rate a fighting game like that? At first you think the only thing that should matter in a fighting game is the fighting. But then you realize that this is 2009, and we should expect a little bit more out of our games, especially if other games, its competitors, are giving us more. Now the PlayStation 3 version might rate a little higher because it includes the really cool sounding clan support. How badass would that be? Unfortunately, the Xbox 360 owners get shit. Now, King of Fighters 12 ultimately gets a final verdict of 6 out of 10 here at the Angry Joe Show. Now, remember, we use the true scale system, okay? Not any of this old 7s are average games bullshit. No, here at the show, 5s are average games. They're not that good and they're not that bad, they're just so so. In this particular game, even though the fighting is badass, But I kept getting my ass kicked with all of those guys. And I just wish there was a better fighter out there. Somebody strong, somebody with force lightning, somebody with the power to just be just so kick ass that he just, just wait a minute. There is a fighter out there like